Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm picking my top 20 Elton John tracks from the 2000s. I've already done three videos looking at the 70s, 80s and 90s and many thanks for your suggestions that you've sent in as well. Now during the 2000s we have three studio albums to look at from Elton. In 2001 we have Songs from the West Coast. In 2004 we have Peachtree Road. And in 2006, we have The Captain and The Kid. Now, there were some other albums to look at as well. We have One Night Only, which was this concert uh, selection from 2000. And we have the musical Billy Elliot from 2006. We also have The Road to El Dorado, which came out in 2000. Both of those soundtrack albums. Now, I'm not including The Road to El Dorado because I don't know that music and I don't want to rush to any conclusions about that, although I will review that at a later stage. But I am including uh, Billy Elliot among my selection. So first, a couple of quick honourable mentions. The first one I'm going to mention is from Songs from the West Coast, a track called The Wasteland. Uh, now, this is a bit like a, a Rolling Stones song. It's a pretty theatrical uh, rocker. Um, with, which is fun and exciting, lots of energy and would make a great live track. So that one's bubbling under, uh, along with Tinderbox. Now, this is a song from The Captain and the Kid. Now, what do we know about this one? This one possibly examined conflict between Elton and Bernie, who maybe were working too much together and creating a few sparks between them. Uh, there's some pretty dense lyrics going on here. Godzilla came in disguise. Uh, and Elton was kind of getting across a message you can't be successful all the time. Anyway, it's a pretty good hook on the refrain of this one uh, and a bit of a sort of a 60s feel to it. Now, number 20 is I Wouldn't Have You Any Other Way from The Captain and the Kid, which, as we know, is an update of Captain Fantastic. Uh, this was um, an attempt to kind of update their story, Elton and Bernie's story. And this song deals with their affection for uh, New York City, which, of course, they have touched upon many times in songs like Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's. Number 19 is The Ballad of the Boy in the Red Shoes. This is from Songs from the West Coast. This is another one of Bernie's story songs. It's about a male ballet dancer who's thinking back on his former glories um, and the difficult trials he's had uh, in life. Um, although it's not you know, an especially memorable melody, it does pack quite a punch, this one. Give me my red shoes, I want to dance. Um, and it's got a distinctive string arrangement from Paul Buckmaster on this one. So uh, an accomplished track. Number 18 is the title track from The Captain and the Kid. Uh, this is an update of Elton and Bernie's songwriting life together. Um, it name checks other albums such as Tumbleweed and Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Um, it's got quite a long uh, verse and maybe the refrain is a little bit uneven, um, but it's still nice that they've taken this step and they're reflecting on this songwriting um, duo. Uh, number 17 is Port Swing in Tupelo from the Peachtree Road album. This, of course, is Bernie's story of going to the roots where Elvis came from and Bernie sat on the same porch swing that Elvis had sat on. This is all where it started. It's an affectionate tribute. Elton's given it a very good setting and he seems to enjoy singing this song. Number 16 is a song called Birds. Now, this comes from Songs from the West Coast. Now, I read in views about this song that this was the song that kind of the critics thought, well, Elton is truly back to his best. Um, I didn't quite see that uh, when I was reviewing the album, although you know, looking back, I can see what they're getting at here. Elton very closely mic'd in this song. You know, there's no echo on that vocal at all. It's really raw. And that actually makes it quite powerful. This is a metaphor about life as a bird. I need a quiet place to hide. Um, and it builds nicely um, and uh, it's kind of a country rocker, really. But it's definitely worth having a listen to this one and see um, if you can if you can recognise what the critics are on about. Number 15, I'm going back to Peachtree Road for a simple but effective rocker. They call her the cat. It's just a bit of fun to listen to. 
Um, I still think Elton's greatest rocker is The Bitches Back, closely followed by Saturday Night. Um, but this is, um, you know, just a nice bit of fun to listen to, turn up the volume uh, and just enjoy. Elton is great at this and it's a nice amusing lyric from Bernie. Number 14, we're going to The Captain and the Kid for the opening track, Postcards from Richard Nixon. A uh, really good live version on YouTube uh, of this one. Uh, and this is about Elton and Bernie arriving in the United States for the first time. My favourite line in this um, is, I don't know whether this actually happened, I hope it did, um, but where they actually saw um, Steve McQueen, the movie star, drive past in his car. Uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if that actually did happen? Maybe it did. But, um, yeah, it's it's a nice piano-led uh, ballad and um, it builds up nicely to a refrain and a pretty good track. Number 13, we're going to Songs from the West Coast for I Want Love. This was a very successful track for Elton, um, which I, you know, I, I liked a bit. But when I saw what they'd done with it in um, the Rocketman film, uh, I thought that was really powerful, the way it was used there, the way it was sung by Tan Egerton there. Um, brilliantly done. Um, and uh, yeah, I've liked that song much more ever since. My number 12 is a bonus track from The Captain and the Kid. It's called Across the River Thames. Now, you might not be familiar with this one, but it's definitely worth uh, checking out. This again is Elton looking back over the highlights and the lowlights of his career. Was he right to dress up as Donald Duck? The critics told him he was out of date, but he's still here. Some things never change. For instance, their music, that's what kept them going. Um, there's also lines about his hair being teased, about trends coming and going. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice track. It's a nice, honest track. Um, and it's a pity, in a way, it didn't feature on the original album. My number 11 is from Peachtree Road, and it's My Elusive Drug. Now, again, this is a very personal song uh, by Elton. He explains in his live video version of this in concert how it was about sort of triumphing over addictions and life sort of changing and taking a different direction. Uh, it's a powerful lyric. He's given it a very um, good setting, I think, that um, especially that opening line going from major to minor, it is quite spine tingling in a way. Uh, definitely worth a listen. My number 10 is from The Captain and the Kid, and it's a song Old 67. Now, Elton and Bernie hadn't had a chance to catch up for a while, so they sat down and started reminiscing one evening. And they looked back to the early days of their career. What were they doing in 1967? So this is about nostalgia, and it's also about the value of friendship. It's a lovely song. Plenty there in the lyric to consider, and Elton's given it an excellent setting. Number nine is the song American Triangle from Songs from the West Coast. This is another um, story song about um, a real um, life story. Somebody called Matthew Shepard, who was the victim of homophobia. Um, it's a haunting setting that Elton's given this. Um, and when he sings the line, it's a cold, cold wind. That is another one of those really spine tingling moments. Um, you know, the backing vocals coming in there, very effective and atmospheric. Uh, and he's given a serious subject, a serious treatment in this music. Now, track number eight is another bonus track. This one from Peachtree Road, and it's called So Sad the Renegade. Uh, now, remember before I've been talking about Elton's best B-sides, and I reckon The Retreat um, was one of them. Well, this could be another one, a contender for his best B-side. This is kind of a, a country song uh, with a nice swing to the verse. It's about wanting to settle down. There's plenty of cowboy imagery there. I suppose the lyric is fairly light, um, but he's given it a good refrain with a good hook. It's a pleasant song to listen to, this one. Um, and it, again, it's a shame that, that hasn't actually appeared on a studio album. Now, number seven is a fan favourite. I'm staying with Peachtree Road for all the time allowed, brackets, I'm thankful. Uh, Elton here, backed by a gospel choir. Um, this is one of those songs about sticking with it, about being optimistic, seeing hope in every cloud, I've tried my best and I'm thankful. Now, one of my subscribers wrote in with a very different interpretation to this song. 
And I would urge you to have a look at his comments, which are underneath the video for Peachtree Road. Whatever your interpretation, it's one of those songs that appears to be uplifting, at least. Um, and it's definitely worth looking closely at the lyrics. Again, it may be one of those which you can interpret in lots of different ways. Undoubtedly, it's a classy track um, and uh, one of Elton's best from this period. Number six is also from Peachtree Road and it's the lovely track, Turn the Lights Out When You Leave. Um, now this one I might compare to Recover Your Soul, which was on one of my other top 20 selections. It's a gentle swinger. Uh, this one appears to be about the end of a relationship. You know, that's it. Turn the lights out. Off you go. We're going to move on. Um, it's a very easy listen. The verse and the refrain fit together quite beautifully. It's the sort of thing that Elton does really well. And, you know, Bernie's given him a nice lyric to work with. Number five is from Songs from the West Coast, and it's the track Original Sin. Um, this is a love ballad. Perhaps it's about giving in to temptation. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Still, I hunger for you when you look at me. Um, some pleasant acoustic guitar on this one. There's atmospheric, strong vocals. Um, and, uh, you know, Elton has described this himself as one of his favourites. It's got some Paul Buckmaster strings on there as well. It's a classy track, this one. Certainly one of the best from the later part of Elton's career. Now, number four, I'm going to the musical Liestat, um, which is kind of a vampire musical that Elton got involved with. Unfortunately, it wasn't very successful when it was performed. Um, although when you listen to the demos that he made, the, the songs are actually pretty strong. So I've chosen Right Before My Eyes, which is obviously a key moment um, in the story. I suppose, in a way, it's one of those songs where you kind of have to know the context a bit to understand the song. However, if you just take the lyrics uh, at face value and listen to the song at face value, you get an absolutely uh, fantastic song. Now, all we've got is Elton playing this at the piano, no other instrumentation. And we don't really need any, actually, because it's such a strong song. It stands up to scrutiny. Um, so I'm going to add that into my uh, rarities playlist, which I will link below at some stage. Um, but I would urge you to listen to that if you haven't. And Elton, if you're watching, we would love a studio recording of this song. OK, number three, I'm going to the Billy Elliot musical and the song Electricity. Um, it's a very strong song, this, and shows Elton's talents. You know, he can write for family films. He can write for stage musicals. He can write love songs. He can write rock songs. Um, and this is certainly a superior musical song. There's a lovely video to this with him singing it at the piano uh, and the lead performer in Billy Elliot dancing as well. Um, it's one of those songs, uh, you know, lots of emotion in there. Um, you know, it really works. It really tugs at the heartstrings. Uh, beautifully done, the whole thing. So it's a class act. Number two, we're going to Songs from the West Coast and the fantastic This Train Don't Stop There Anymore. Now, Elton is quoted as saying that he wanted to write a song like Burt Bacharach and Hal David. Well, he certainly did because those are wonderful songwriters. And this is a great song, isn't it? Um, we've got the metaphor of the train being like life, I suppose, or being like a relationship. Um, and Alton's given it just a delightful setting on this. It's so catchy. You can't stop singing or humming it after you've heard it. Really good production on this. And they made a, um, an, an exciting video to go with it as well. So it's just a wonderful song, you know. And, um, well, who knows where this might finish in my overall uh, top 20 for all of Alton's songs. Lots of work to do before I can put that together. So what's my number one? My favourite track from the 2000s. Well, I'm going to the captain and the kid and the sublime song, The Bridge. Now, if anybody watched my video on my fantasy uh, final show for Elton, I had Elton singing this as the very final song. This would be the last time you'd see him live, his message. This really sums up the whole of life in a way. And he's posing the question, you know, what do you do? Do you cross the bridge or do you fade away? Do you take those risks in life um, or do you hold back? Now, Elton's always been a risk taker. You know, right at the beginning of his career, he was doing something very different. Uh, and he's always been innovating, trying new things like the lockdown sessions. 
Now, um, this is not just a very meaningful lyric. It's a fantastic setting as well. It's a very moving ballad. Um, and uh, Elton sings it in a really beautiful way as well, whether it's on this recording or live. So it's a classy song. It's a great song for me. Um, and uh, that is my number one. So that's my selection from the 2000s. What's yours? Do you disagree with my selection? Well, please add your comments below. Either give me a whole top 20 or just give me the top three or four um, if you want to. If you want to suggest any songs I may have missed or any uh, rarities, B-sides, outtakes, please do as well and I'll do a follow-up of your comments. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we're still standing. Oh, and this wasn't supposed to happen. Number two, we're going to songs from the West Coast and the fantastic 